Hello Kevin Choriel, this is me again, Sir Relevant and welcome to my English class. No. Now for today's lesson, let's talk about fiction. And what is fiction? It is generally in a narrative form in any medium, consisting of people, events, or places that are imaginary. In other words, it is not based strictly in history or fact. In its most narrow usage, fiction refers to written narratives in prose and often specifically novels, though also novellas in short stories. In fiction, we have these elements, and the first one is characters. It refers to the people, animals, imaginary creatures that take part of the story, novel, or play. Remember that there is no plot without people, no action without actors. So characters are very important part or elements of fiction, fiction or in a story. Because in general, we read stories to learn about life, about the world around us, and about how people in the world react to their circumstances and experiences. Characters in stories help us see how people might react in these various situations. If we can relate to the character, that makes this story even more meaningful. In that case, we can internalize what the character is going through how they react to it, and how they work through their problems. In so doing, we better prepare ourselves for life's circumstances as they arise from us. If we cannot relate to the characters, that can also sometimes be helpful as we then know how we would prefer not to respond to situations, and that is characters. Remember that characters are divided into two, or it has two Kinds we have protagonist and antagonist. Talking about protagonist, this is the lead character of a story. The term derives from classical Greek drama, literally meaning first actor. Though often referred to as the hero of the story, the protagonist isn't necessarily virtuous and also maybe just one of many protagonists. On the other hand, Talking about antagonist, this is the primary opponent of the protagonist and the biggest obstacle standing between the main character and their goal. This term also derives from the Greek anti meaning against and agonist meaning actor. So that is protagonist and antagonist. Sa madaling salita, kapag protagonist, ito yung bida. Antagonist, ito yung kontra bida. That is the characters. Proceed with setting. When we talk about setting, it refers to the time and place where the story happens. It can be a place, a time, or a weather. In order for us to understand and know better what is the setting of the story, let's try to answer these questions. When did it happen? Where does it take place? And what's the social climate so these question would help us to know what is the setting of the story or where is the setting of the story now the third one element is the theme theme is the central idea of any literary piece the more the lesson or message that the author wants you to take away from the story Theme is what the story is about in a deeper level than what is seen on the surface. It's the big meaning, a thread that is woven through the entire story. And often it is moral. Love, honor, family redemption, and revenge are all common underlying themes. Theme is an idea thread that wins through the story and supports the plot. Theme can be also example for this is friendship or love it's that's the theme next to that is conflict conflict it is the opposition of persons or forces 
It exists if there is a struggle faced by the characters in the story. Here are three main types of conflict identified in literature. Man versus nature or the physical. Man versus man or social. And we have man versus himself or internal or psychological. Take note with this that these standard classifications use men as a universal term, including women as well. So let's take a closer look at these three definitions of conflict. Let's start with man versus nature. Man versus nature, in this type of conflict, a character is tormented by natural forces such as storms or animals. Again, talking about man versus nature, um, the, uh, the protagonist or the characters, the character's opponent here is um, na natural forces. It can be a storms, floods, or whatsoever is that. Next to that is man versus man. It is a situation in which two characters have opposing desires or interests. The typical scenario is a conflict between the protagonist and the antagonist. That is man versus man. And the last one is man versus himself. This conflict develops from a protagonist's inner struggles and may depend on a character trying to decide between good and evil or overcome self-doubts. This conflict has both internal and external aspects. As obstacles outside the protagonist force the protagonist to deal with inner issues. That is conflict. Next to that is plot. Plot is the sequence of the events of the story. It where it happens, what happens, and to whom it happens. So the plot has structures and it goes like this. So the first structure of plot is expository or introduction. The exposition is the in introduction to a story, including the primary characters, names, setting, mood, and time. So in, in other words, introduction here, um, the character's name or the setting have been revealed already. Now next to that is the rising action. The rising action of the story is all of the events that lead to the eventual climax, including character development and events that create suspense. In other words, dito sa rising action, dito natin nalalaman little by little yung mga problema ng characters or ng, ng mga suspenseful events or situations sa story. Now, after that one, we have this climax, wherein climax is the most ex exciting point of the story and is a turning point for the plot or goals of the main character. Again, kapag sinabi natin climax, this is the most exciting point of the story, turning point of the plot on how the characters would solve the problem, how would the character embrace the challenge or the struggles that might that she or he might encounter with next to that is falling action falling action is everything that happens as a result of the climax including wrapping up of plot points questions being answered and character developments so in this falling action class Dito, unti-unti nang na-resolve ang problema. Unti-unti nang na the characters have um, passed mountains or surpassed mountains. Dito na lahat, all the questions have been answered already. And next to that, and the last one is resolution. Resolution is not always happy but it does complete the story it can leave a reader with questions answers frustrations or satisfaction so these are the structures of plot when reading a story now let's talk about story mapping a story mapping would help us to determine and help us understand 
the story well. So it includes characters, setting, theme, moral lesson, conflict, and plus. So all these things are part of elements of fiction and these uh, these are things when me making or mapping a story. So again, this is elements of fiction so that I hope that you learned something for today's lesson. Thank you and God bless us all.